Hello everyone. In this lockdown, I have been taking up a little bit of a hobby of planting seeds and growing vegetables and salads and stuff on a windowsill. And the problem that I've experienced is if I try and water them with a glass of water, it displaces all of the soil everywhere. There are some ways of getting around that. Obviously, you can have a little watering can, but that uses a lot of room off the windowsill anyway. And there is also a water bottle um, attachment you can put on the water bottle, but they're only built for plastic ones. And I personally really like the aesthetic of wine bottles. They have quite a small surface area on the bottom, so they take up less space as a, um, a watering can. But they have a different um, thread on the top to a normal, normal plastic water bottle. So I thought I'll make myself one for the top and I, I can do a little bit, bit of experimenting with different orifices on top and stuff like that and try and make it work. So I'm just going to test it downstairs and see how it works with loads of little holes I've punctured in the top. Again, I've emptied it slightly so hopefully air should go in so then it can come out. Right, that could be a lot better. So that's my aim, to make it better than it is now. So as you probably saw in that clip, the water level was about there. That amount of air should have helped it, but when I tipped it up, the air all shot up to the top. So for a decent water flow to come out the bottom, it somehow needs air to go into the bottle so then it can replace the water that's exiting it. So what I need is some way of getting air down to the bottom because at the moment it's blocked by the water. So I'm going to test out a few different styles and try and get around this issue so then hopefully I can use this bottle for watering my plants without ruining all the soil at the same time. So yeah, let's get to it.
take me a few different tries to get to a little cap that can actually fit on. Um, so what I tried to do at first was cut away a thread inside, but that didn't really work. And I realized that doesn't really need to do much to seal. So what I did was I made a coil inside adding a bit of material. So it only needs to just basically fit in between the different thread parts. So that fits in quite simply. The top can be the sealing part. And then I want to now uh, experiment a bit. So instead of what I did in my drawings, which is just a sprinkler head, I want to try different shapes and um, different orifices. So then well, I can see which is better because it might not actually be the best around. It might be a thin channel, that a little opening that might be the best. I, I don't know. So I'm going to have a bit of a play around and see what I can come up with. tube fitted I've got it's a friction fit so that's quite cool so hopefully as I turn that up the air should be able to come out of the bottom of the tube so let's see if that improves it in any way a lot better so I filled this one fully now I've got the extender on it so it goes right down to near the bottom so let's see if that makes any better So that's made it really smooth now. So I'm going to now make a few different variations of the top part with different end parts to see what makes it best for like laying water over soil without displacing all the soil. So as you can see, I've made six of these, so it's progressed a bit of development. Hopefully they should be a bit better as I go along. So I started off with that original one, which worked, but not perfectly. Then this one is tapered in, so it funnels it a bit. Then I've got a thin channel. Then I made that a bit of a wave in it. And then I, well, the original one there that I made tapered, I put two, well, loads of little holes in it. And then this one is, well, that should be the other way around. There we go. All right, let's see how they do.
as you probably saw in that video, there was a bit of a leakage coming out of down there. So what I've done is to seal that gap, I, I couldn't really get a just one seal the right size and that cost me money. So what I did was I found some rubber sticky pads that you can put on the bottom of furniture so it doesn't scrape the floor. I've cut it with a Stanley knife so hopefully it seals the top. So now if we try that. works perfectly so that's ready for use on all my plants so as you probably saw with that it's not the most aesthetically pleasing product ever but it's functional for what i need so i class that as a success so thank you very much for watching and join me in the next video